It's Bonnie at Benica Shears. I'm back in the office. Supposed to be in New York at the hair show today, but as you may know, because of the coronavirus, they canceled at the last minute the New York hair show. It's Wednesday now, and I recorded that on Monday to go to the hairstylist. You can watch the full video at this link on my other channel for hairstylists. I'm still showing a little bit of this to you as sharpeners, but watch to the end. I've had a few days to think about this and to kind of get my head wrapped around this whole new coronavirus in the world thing everywhere. And I've thought of some opportunities and then some things that might be helpful to you as sharpeners to look at some of the bright side and some of the positives on this. So make sure you watch to the end so you'll see what I record today. We had already set up our booth, brought all our stuff in, and dressed up, ready to go to the show yesterday morning, and checked my emails, and the show was gone. We went over and brought all our things back. So I'm kind of glad the show canceled. I was worried because we were going to drive all the way back on Wednesday, which would have been a long drive, but we wanted to get back in time because my husband and I both teach English to immigrants at our church. And... I was really worried about maybe getting something and bringing it back to them and to our church. And yes, it, you know, they're saying senior citizens need to be more careful. And I'm not saying we're old, but we're probably older, most of you watching. Gene's still in bed. <laughs> he drove, believe it or not, he drove all the way from New York. And we didn't leave till like 10 because we had to close up the booth. He drove all the way from New York and got in last night at 12.30. And so he told me to call him at 10 so he could bring the um, product back in. So you heard about our disaster at the New York show. <laughs> um, and so now we're kind of reeling. And uh, we sent out some YouTube videos and some emails to people that would have come to the show, hairstylists, and gave them some specials. And if you want to watch those, those are on my channel, um, Love to Cut. I would suggest that you go ahead and subscribe to that channel so you can see what we tell the hairstylists. But we've devoted Benica Shears to sharpeners or those interested in sharpening or, you know, all things to do with shears and clipper blades and the cutting utensils for hair or even for dogs. I've got a new video coming out about that. But I thought of some things that we want to talk about. Number one. If you're sharpening for the beauty industry or you're sharpening for groomers, uh, the pet industry, those are two industries that have been pretty much recession proof. Um, I know we're heading, uh, you know, there's no way to argue about we're heading into some economic times because of this virus. We are going to have like a little a new world to look at. But the pet industry and the beauty industry during times of um, economic upheaval have always kept going strong. Now, a little bit different now, you may have fewer people going to beauty shops, possibly. But again, once again, they're not going on their big vacations. They're not going overseas to their vacation. Now they've got a little extra money. And women in particular, they will go and get their hair done. And um, the hairstylists are already on top of making sure that they feel comfortable and clean in their place. And they're also thinking outside the box, even going into the homes maybe to, to do hair. And um, so, I mean, women are going to find some way to have money and the time to have their hair cut and their color done. Uh, it's just going to happen. If they're wearing a burqa, they're still going to get the hair done. <laughs> so, that's, so that industry will stay the same. Now... We have noticed in the past, when the economy is bad, sharpening goes up, but maybe sheer sales go down. Uh, when the economy is good, it, it goes the other way. Don't take this opportunity to try to sell cheaper shears. If you're already selling shears, make sure you're selling good quality. But what you can do, you could take trade-ins. Now you can take those trade-ins, sharpen them, and sell them at a discount. That's one of the options for in the hair salons. And then the sharpening for the hair salons, go in there, make sure you keep, you know, you spray your shears off with alcohol anyway. I think most of you do and clean them up good. Just, you know, you're not that close to them. I don't think you're going to, you know, I'm not an expert on this. 
I do have a biology background, but that's years ago. You may have to expand maybe some other sharpening that you weren't doing before. Um, if you are sharpening for groomers, the grooming industry, I think, is going to actually keep going strong. Because people are going, they may not go into the beauty shop. They're going to drop their dog off at the groomer because now if even if they're isolated at home they're there with their pet they're going to be more concerned about the pet's appearance and grooming and all of this and i don't foresee the grooming industry taking the impact that a lot of other industries hey thank goodness you're not in hospitality or some of these other businesses right now so let's look at this if you are sharpening for the salons and you're starting to see your business kind of die off a little bit, you may want to look at expanding to groomers and vice versa. If you've been doing groomers, you may want to expand into doing shears. I've got a new video that I'm working on. I've got a lot of uh, travel, a lot of edits to put on it about what is the difference in sharpening for groomers and sharpening for salons. But spoiler alert, really it's not anything. You know, <laughs> just go for it. Uh, as long as you know how to do a convex edge, and as long as you know how to do a bevel edge, which you should know how to do both if you're sharpen in either one of those industries. If you don't, watch some of my videos. Stay tuned. And by the way, I do want to mention, if you're, not, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, because I'm trying to post a couple of things a week. I may be doing more. And uh, we're actually going to put together maybe some webinars, some things, um, thinking outside the box. And you want to make sure that you are aware of those when we do those things. So another thing is the opportunity that you have right now is like when we went to New York and you saw me talking about it, not only were we disappointed. I mean, we'd set up for the show and then couldn't do the show. You've got thousands and thousands of hairstylists that were coming with the money with them to get their shears, to purchase shears, to have them sharpened, to buy all kinds of products. Now they're out there and they're waiting for you to come by and see them. Make sure you've got shears to sell. Make sure you can give them high quality sharpening. Probably better than they could even get at a hair show because you can take your time, do your job with them. See this as an opportunity with the hair shows maybe going away or dying down for a while you've got a great opportunity there. And then the last thing I do want to say that's an opportunity for you as sharpeners is I have really seen mail order sharpening take off just in the last couple of days. Um, they're not going to the hair show, so they're looking for you. And I've talked to other sharpeners that do mail order sharpening, and that is, that's uh, something to supplement your income and take advantage of right now. I'm going to be shooting another video pretty soon that I'll upload to YouTube uh, about mail order sharpening, best practices, how to get it going, this type of thing. So make sure that you follow me and you subscribe. I've got a lot of hundreds of past videos you want to watch. And as I said, I we're working the time that we would normally be at the hair show now. I'm going to be shooting videos for you. So this is my new paradigm. is a little bit more videography, maybe some webinars, this type of thing, for the time that I'd be investing in traveling to hair shows, Florida, Chicago, whatever. Some of those shows may go on, but they're not going to be they're not going to be attended like they were in the past. So you as local sharpeners, wherever you are, wherever you are in the world, just know that there's now a little, there's a little pot of gold that's not being spent at the hair shows that you can grab and get a hold of. So go get it.